Okay, this heat lamp is, if it works and then it doesn't work and it works and it doesn't work, it's uh, gonna have had a meltdown. Let's take a look at the big reveal. Let's see, we take that one screw off and these will pull off the top. Hmm, I actually don't see that the wires are burnt. That's not good. Freaking Legos in there. Well, I don't see the meltdown. There, oh, that's not good right there. Let's just test the continuity of the switch and see. We just got a bad yeah, switch. We just got a bad switch. It doesn't really want to switch anyway. You can feel it, but when it does, I don't get any continuity across. Right, white to white. Hit the switch. Nothing. Check if that our meter is set for continuity. It is. Black to black, chest it on. Nope, bad switch. Easy As I done. pull the switch out, you can see it's broken on the side. So, I think it probably would have worked. Something about it. There's the broken piece in there. All right, I don't have a double pull, double throw, but I have a single pull, single throw, which is fine because this is only, uh, it's a 20 amp, 120 volts, not 240 volts. So I just took the neutrals, put them together, and now I'm just interrupting the hot. Um, be careful when you do this. I'm actually going to um, wrap this. The way this groove, you know, one side has a groove cut, and the way this groove is cut, it's backwards, so that up is down and off is up, and so I hate that, but it is what it is. I'm gonna wrap this with electrical tape so that going forward, there's no chance anybody ends up leaning on this and shorten it out. 